the rumors that are circulating ah. around uh, Club Shay Shay's <sighs> host, Shannon Sharp. And him and Mike Epps have been beefing. beefing a little bit. And uh, Ben, we we have a clip from that, right? So this is Mike Epps talking about the beef between him and Shannon Sharp. That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said, no, my dear. I ain't doing no interview. So you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'll sit down, nigga. I don't know if that's the clip that he should have been playing. <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that, that's not the one, Ben. You got to get the one that he did on his Instagram. It's on Instagram. <laughs> You're listening to the last it, day. Because <laughs> it will be edited on Instagram. Uh, yeah. This is yeah, our final yeah, show. Ben, yeah. <laughs> it's been real, y'all. Uh, <laughs> well, we didn't even make it to April 3rd. God, dog. Wow. <laughs> Just when we oh. thought we had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> You have the right one? Okay. All right. Yeah, he's in shoes. Sure. He's, he's Ben is the you one where he's, you like, know, he's like laying in bed. Yeah. Like, Yo, okay. I'm over yeah, here dying. Yeah. Laughing. Yeah. yeah. We we go get it right this time. <laughs> Signing off. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Telly. Now, now, I know. We love it, yeah, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Shay Shay. I don't know what grown ass man got a name named Shay Shay, but I know this grown man is not mad at me. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you, but now you want to fight me? Now, I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up when you were sitting there with Cat. And he was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't. Okay? Now... Second of all, talking about pulling up on me. You're going to be an all-star. I'm going to be at the all-star in my hometown. And I'm going to see you. Well. Hold on, Ben. You missed the good part. No, no, no. Let's not play any more of that. I've already, my, my, the hair on my back is already. No, no, he's, no, he can't say nothing because it's on Instagram. He's, he's, okay. It's clean. All right. It's totally clean. Okay. Let's play but it he, then. But he was talking about, uh, did, was that? Did you cut it off or did you just? Uh, I can go longer. I just, but just, like just tell, just paraphrase. Wait, we're good. What did he say? Yeah, no, nah, he was talking about like he just said, pull up. Like he's from Indy. Oh yeah. Right? So he was like, uh, I don't. He's like, I don't fight. I'm just gonna tell you, I don't fight. He said, I, I do other things. Make a phone call. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, he was making some other noises and stuff, but he was just like, then he started getting into Shannon Shay. He's like. You know, but see, you, you looking real zesty on TV. This goes back. <laughs> this goes back to what uh, Chris Spencer and Marlon Wayans was saying. Why is it our community? Because here's the thing: Club Shay Shay would not get this much smoke if it weren't as popular as it is. And so now everybody, you know, it's like, think about it. If Club Shay Shay the podcast didn't have the type of viewership that it does, would we really even be? You know, coming for Shannon Sharp like this. He's been Shannon Sharp all his life. And it's not like he just came out of nowhere and and had this successful podcast. And so here we go. Another example where black men are publicly, publicly, not privately, publicly going for one another. For what? Look, you for what? Uh, for popularity. And like my, he got a stand up coming out. F's got a stand up coming out yeah but here's the thing I mean, mike he, wants epps, to be in the, he wants to be in the spotlight mike right epps now. does not have to come for somebody else he's mike epps everybody he's got his own show on netflix a very successful show on netflix I, he's a, he, he he i've never seen mike epps do a show where it was like more empty seats than not full seats he's winning yeah and i don't think he was i don't think necessarily he was coming for uh for for shannon because he's a comedian he's doing a he's doing a bit Right. So so Shannon it was Shannon was mad at that's why he was in the thing. He said, I can't believe you mad at me. He said they was killing you on SNL, but you ain't mad at them. But you mad at me for doing my comedy set. It's just a comedy set. I'm just I'm just yeah. talking crazy. I ain't I'm not coming at you like insulting you. All I said was you called me to be on the show. That is that that insulting. Let me be, Shannon? Let me be clear. What you just said, Tony, there's nothing wrong with what you said at all. Why couldn't he have just had that conversation privately? With Shannon Sharp, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I think I think the they, public, like, yeah, it's they, all. It took a long. They, that's what they're going to do and find it. Like, yeah. they started calming down and like 
coming to some sense. Like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna meet at All Star. We're gonna have a conversation. Because now it. you got all these people who are going to be going to All Star, looking for Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp, and not and not focus on while we're really yeah, there, and that's right. to celebrate the NBA All Stars. They, they just react. I mean, that's that's the that's the social media world. They just react. Right. Like, oh, you said this but, but you was on my show, and then you you know you making fun of me, being zesty and all that, and he just like. like do no, be Birdman. If you like, you know, look, I gotta give it to Birdman. At least he came, he went to the Breakfast Club. Yeah. And he looked Angela Ye and Charlemagne the God and DJ Envy in their face and was like, Good morning, what's up? Yeah. Y'all seem to be using my name a lot. Okay, well, well let's let's have the conversation now. Did he not? Well, you that's pulling up. Well, Denise, you <laughs> he and D, you wasn't and quite D that's that nice a pull up. when he pulled up. Yeah, you and D Woods <laughs> might be on the same page here. Well, you guys are exactly on the same page. D Woods hit us up on the True Talk to Text Line, 833-212-1017. D Woods says Mike and Shannon is the prime example of what's wrong with the black community. Too busy focusing on BS, go and vote. Facts. <laughs> he said, go and vote. Facts. Playing around with each other.